There's a whole lot of scholarship, and there has been for decades, on how do we address stigma. It's incredibly recalcitrant. Um, it seems to be that not a lot of interventions really work. The current project I'm working on is about patient-provider communication and rhetorical ethos, so credibility. And really, I became interested in that when I um, had two friends, one a man, one a woman, same career, same age group, same educational level, and they were having really similar symptoms. And in talking with them about the care they were receiving locally, one was getting a whole battery of diagnostic tests and one was immediately put on Prozac. And you can predict, right, that gender was a big factor in which one was put on Prozac, it was the woman. And so it got me thinking like, wow, I wonder if this is a thing. And then I started to think about my own um, experiences in healthcare settings where maybe the kinds of credibility that usually gets me by, like being, um, educated, let's say, um, didn't seem to have much of an impact. It was more that you're a woman and so it's it's likely that what you're experiencing is you're overreacting or you're being hysterical or um, this is in your head. And vignette survey research did indicate that they found um, mental illnesses to be just as physiologically based as something like heart disease, but that didn't lessen stigma at all. And so that's what was really interesting because people thought all we've got to do is make people understand that having uh, schizophrenia is not different from having diabetes. No one deserves the health and medical uh, hand that they're dealt, and uh, we all make lifestyle decisions that, to varying degrees, we have to deal with the consequences of, and some people just um, are dealt a better hand.